So first, first I have to mention that definitely I wasn't the first. I mean, maybe I was the first again uh, to work with spontaneous fermentation because in former days they just had for spontaneous fermentation. I mean, um, you know, when you have, you, you need, of course, high quality grapes. I mean, there's no doubt. Uh, and uh, we are not aiming or focusing industrial wine production. So this is handcrafted wine. And uh, I would say, I mean, I have a, a long experience by working with spontaneous fermentation. It's more than 20 years. Uh, more than for, for more than 20 years ago, we started to do spontaneous fermentation. Um, I think, I think um, uh, a good wine should transport some charisma. It should be show some soul. And uh, my experience shows that when you work with spontaneous fermentation, uh, the wines have more of this soul or character or charm or charisma or whatever. I mean, this is the this is the um, philosophical or or, uh, or poetic version of using or uh, reason of using uh, spontaneous fermentation there is maybe also technical you know you have you have a different um, uh, fermentation process it starts uh, uh, it needs it's, it needs a bit, little bit longer to start and then it's it's fermenting quite long and uh, especially because we we keep the the wines very long on the skins uh, some parts longer than three weeks and up to 25 27 days so and spontaneous fermentation is perfect with uh, uh, with fermenting in open vats uh, which is also very important uh, so there are some reasons i would say <laughs>